All right, well, let's have a look at the, the main race of the day then, the HKSAR Chief Executive Cup. This is a class one contest over the 1,200 metres. Amazing star, big upset in a group two at the back end of last season. Can he do it again? Big weight on his back this time round. Lucky Patch won his final start last season. Duke White down in class. Ratan, the blinkers back on and a tongue tie as well. Elusive State, a multiple winner. He's won nine times um, here in Hong Kong. Majority of those, though, have been on the all-weather. Winning Dreamer up in class, has his California rad. Naboo attack and sparkling Dreamer. Dragon, who won the very last race of the season at Happy Valley. He's back again with that lightweight Tony Miller. Dylan Moe taking an extra three pounds off his back as well. So we'll have a look at uh, the speed map as far as this one is concerned. Mark, we're saying good in the early stages. Where do we see the speed coming from? Yeah, a lot of horses like to go forward here, Andrew. Amazing star, Lucky Patch does. California Rad can go forward. Uh, and even Buddies, who's midfield, Paul, on that speed map, he's showing a lot of early toe in his recent outing. So... Uh, certainly good speed you'd expect in this Class 1 race. Yeah, I think what's going to happen is the winning dream is going to get just this perfect run in behind. Uh, Duke Boy should, should get a nice run as well. And the big boy, Naboo Attack, he won a bit of space. I don't think you want to be too um, sort of cluttered up down there being such a big horse, over 1,300 pounds. All right, OK, well, that's how the, uh, the speed map uh, looks. As far as some of the key races uh, are concerned, we can have a look at um, the, uh, the first run here of, uh, of Lucky Patch. We're going to the, uh, the back end of, uh, of last season. And uh, his run here at this stage is getting that uh, dream run uh, in behind Voyage Warrior back on the rail. The other horses to look out for, Mark, though, a shining ace. He's right behind him there. He eventually finishes in third. Wishful Thinker doing his thing, finishing off. Uh, and Buddies, who's covering a bit of ground, eventually weakens out. Of it. He does. I found a top four spot on a minor line for Lucky Patch. He had Barry one this day, Paul, so he's up eight pounds for the win. He's got barrier 10. Jerry Chow does take a claim of five, and he was pushed along a little late in his trial, so it's just a question of how much work he's going to have to do. We know he's a good horse, but just where he ends up was my concern. Yeah, if he can get across, that's the key, isn't it? So it'll, be, it'll take a good ride here from uh, Jerry Chow on him. Now, he did win up fresh up um, when he first got to Hong Kong last season, albeit on the all-weather, and he wasn't expected to win that. He was a real decent price. So, look, his work's been OK leading into the race, but we know what he can really perform on race day. So, look, he's definitely goes in for me. All right, this, Paul, is the win of uh, N Naboo Attack at the back end um, of last season. It was some sort of win as well. Uh, Lucky Patch again in this race, so we need to look out for him. But um, he is an absolute giant, this um, Naboo Attack. Well, he's pushing 1,400 pounds. I know, it's unbelievable, isn't he? He's the biggest horse I've seen up here. And, look, it was a really strong win from him. And, again, he was at a decent price when he when he did win this, so he should have got under a few people's guards. Uh, David Hayes has been very confident with the horse. He said he's one of the stars of the stable. Uh, a really good run from him. Uh, barrier number six, it just where he does end up with the run, I don't think they want to be cluttered about because he is such a big horse. So, he, look, he definitely goes and he's, he's going so well. He's up in grade also. He has had a foot problem since then, but uh, David Hayes did say in an interview he probably could have run towards the end of last season. He looks an exciting prospect, the big fellow. He certainly does. Naboo attack. Well, back at the trials um, here, the horses to take note of uh, a Duke Y, who wins this trial. Uh, but he's just in behind him, and the other one, Mark, is, is Shining Ace, uh, right at the back there. This was about the very first trial of the season, Andrew, in the off-season. Duke Y was really good. He just did it and did it so well. The time was good. Buddies was only pretty ordinary, and Shining Ace finishes sixth. He finishes down the track. But of the three out of this trial, Paul Dukeway, Zach Purton takes the ride for Paul O'Sullivan. He's out of a Group 3 race behind Courier Wonder. It was a really nice trial from him. Yeah, really nice trial. He's been placed fresh up in the, in the past as well, this horse. Look, he goes in on a minor line for me. The horse is uh, full of class, and he's going nicely. It was a good trial, as you see. All right, the other horse we can have a look at, uh, Paul, is Winning Dreamer, who, uh, when he started off, looked like he was going to go right to the very top. The wheels fell off a little bit. Um, what do you think of his chances coming back now? I like him because I just think he's going to get the best run on the race and he can probably um, get uh, first run on some of these other horses. Now, they did step him up to 1,400 metres and, look, he, he did fail at 1,400 metres. Uh, the 1,200 uh, looks ideal for him, as we know. As you said, he looked like a really good horse uh, going for the grades. The wheels did fall off. But I just thought there was something there with that uh, 
run behind Courier Wonder last time, and I really like the way he finished off this trial. So just from the draw, I think he's going to get a really good run and be tough to beat. I've got him in his uh, top two horse as well. Just uh, that trial was good. He's got that uh, speed early that it can get himself into the right spot. So he's in the top two. Mm. When I say wheels fell off, he's won six of ten. He's still rated 100. <laughs> so he's, he's obviously a very good horse still. Uh, Nabertak's our favourite for. Yeah, he definitely goes in the bird tank. I'm going to go with Winning Dreamer. They will see if he can bounce back here. I think that the horse has got class. They did try an experiment up to 14. Didn't work. 1,200 looks ideal for him. A lucky patch. That was a really strong win at the back end of last season. He's gone from strength and strength. The boo attack, he's going to start uh, favourite. He's favourite at the moment, but well, I presume he will. And uh, look, he's going to be uh, right there at the finish as well. He'll be winding up late. And Jukwai in the back of that trial as well. A really good race. This. Looking forward to it. Eight. Two, 12 and 4. I've gone Naboo attack. Now he's missed the start twice in a couple of trials. They're going to put a barrier extender on for him this week to try and make the difference. If he jumps with them, no, no, he's there. Eight winning dreamer. Five Rattan goes in for third and two lucky patch. 12, 8, 5 and 2 in race number 4. It's all Naboo attack for me as well. I'm interested in Sparkling Dragon at those sort of prices, but it begins and ends with the big boy. Naboo attack for me there in the feature.